All right guys, welcome back to the channel. What I'm gonna be showing you guys today is how to make your own pinout tools for Volkswagen Audis. This is the OEM pinout tool. You can see it's the part number 1978-18. And if you look that tool up on its own, it's well over $100. Me liking to do everything as cheap as possible. Uh, I found a really good way to make this literally for free. This is my tool that I've made probably five years ago now. So this is actually a stainless steel rod just ground down on the sides to fit into the pin slot and remove the pins. That's all this is. You pull back this little connector. It's just two stainless steel rods. But again, that's 160 bucks, something like that. I want to make mine real cheap, show you guys how to do it. To make this tool for free, you just need to go out to a car and get a an old wiper blade. So here's one here on a junk car. It has to be one of these type that are like real thin. Now that you have your wiper blade, all you have to do is take it apart. Usually you just take a little plastic cover off, but it doesn't have it. And you see these two rods, you just pull them out. All right, so now you have your rod. Why these are so good is because they're made out of stainless steel. That means it's really strong, won't rust. What I usually do, I'll just nip these ends off. I like this design because it keeps spring tension. So when you squeeze it in, you can get right into the fitting and it's always it always has like, you know, that one of release tension. So you always know it's touching the pins. I would say this is probably, there you go, four fingers distance. So four fingers distance right here, right here. And here's where I'm gonna cut it. So now, I'm gonna just bend it. Now just even them up. Now you guys might be asking, when is this useful? It's really useful when you're making your own wiring harnesses, when you're tucking wiring harnesses so you can depin the plug and put it through a smaller hole, that type of stuff. But the biggest thing that this is used for that I'm sure you guys will, will need is when you buy a used car that's like a Mark IV and up and the coil pack plugs are obliterated. Here's my 3.6 wiring harness, and you'll see, I believe, out of six connectors, there's only one good coil pack connector. So, here, clip broke. Here, almost the whole clip's broke. Here, almost the whole clip's broke. Here, uh, you get it. They're junk. People don't know how to work on these cars, and they just, they ruin them. So, I will show you how to actually depin after we make this tool. I'll show you how to depin this. I have another wiring harness uh, with these Mark IV style plugs for coil packs. You can get them off of 2.5s, which are all in the junkyard on Rabbits and Jettas. You can get them off 3.6s, you can get them off FSIs, TSIs. You can get them off a lot of things. You just gotta kind of verify the part number because there's like a, a 4BO part number and an 8KO number. The 8KO number have different style pins inside, so you can't swap one plug on that's 4BO, you can't put an AKO on it, if that makes sense. Here's a pretty good view. You can see the squared off one and the tapered one. There, there's so many tools you can use. You can use a belt sander, you can use a cutoff wheel, you can use a bench grinder. Basically, you just need something that takes metal away. All right, you see these slots up top in the bottom? That's where the tool is actually gonna go in. So we're gonna take this over now. I'm gonna just grind it on here, try to apply nice even pressure. You guys will be able to see it. So I just ground down a little bit more, but just get it in here. So it just slides right in. Push, give it a nice push, and then all I do is come back here, wires out. Let's go to this first obliterated one. Little pink piece inside. 
So you have this little piece inside and you see this slot right here. So you get in here and you grab this with a flathead and you just pull it out. See? And now this allows the pins to be removed. Uh, this type of plug, you see how it has this 90 degree connector? Um, this just plastic, you just, you don't even need a tool for this, really. Let's use it because I got it. Too, this is really nice, like if you're doing uh, coil packs on a 12 valve, you can use these, that way it keeps the, the wiring nice and tight. Kind of have to remember where these go. You can write it down if you want. I'll just... Pin tool one. Pull it out. You hear that cracking? That's because this, this connector is just so bad. It's literally cracking. Uh, and a lot of times when it's this tight, it's easier just if you kind of grab it with some pliers. You can't really get your hand in there. Yeah, see, I just completely went through the plug. You see the plug's exploded now. But that, that works for me because the pin comes out. Now we'll get to the next one. Nope, same thing. See the pins all the way out. And one more. Let's see if it happens. Let's hope. Nope. There it is. All four connectors. These wires, when you pull them out, they generally stay where they were. See? Even though this is exploded, that's how they were. What I like to do is try to put them all in at the same time, if that makes sense. Now, if you see on these plugs, there's little tiny tangs. Here's the tang. Here's a tang. So what you're doing when you put this tool in is you're just compressing the tang. See, just like you're compressing the tang right there. There's the tangs. You're compressing them down. That's all you're doing. So now you have to kind of push them back up so when they go back in, they'll lock in place. So it's you don't have to do a lot, you just just enough. If you break your wiring, that's that's on you, not me. See, that's up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I think you get it. Uh, so now take the new good connector. Like I said, I like to put them all in at the same time. Pins have to go up where these tang where the the small pieces that you put the tool in earlier, the tangs have to go up. That's where they'll snap in. You can either use your screwdriver or your pin tool. And usually snap them in place. I didn't get that one yet. Here, that little tiny snap. That means you got it in place. And it snapped in place. And then you take the lock. You have to take the lock that comes out of whatever connector you're using. So this is the one that came out of this connector. Now you have a fully restored connector. Now luckily for me, I gotta do it five more times. So guys, remember, there's always a tool for every job. These connectors are really, really hard. Uh, a lot of people hate messing with European connectors, but as long as you got the right tool, showed you how to make it today, go out, take somebody's windshield wiper, make your own. This is a really, really easy tool to make. It'll make your life so much easier. I've used these for years, years, and I've never had a complaint or an issue with these. Don't spend money on other tools that you think may work. I literally showed you, you can make this in probably under 10 minutes and go right to work pinning your car, depinning your car, whatever you have to do. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, like, comment, subscribe. S subscriptions will definitely help keep the channel going and flowing, you know? Trying to pump out some more videos for you guys right now. Share it to your friends if, uh, if they've ruined their own wiring and, and need to fix it. Keep an eye out for the rest of the DIYs. If you go to my channel and you go through all the playlists, you'll see I have everything kind of 
individualized. So I have the Mark 1 VR6 Turbo build. I have the Mark 3 1.8T build. And I have the Mark 2 VR6 switching from a 12 valve to a 3.6. And then I have a section just for DIYs. Like, comment, subscribe.